Hello and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. Well, when I got to work today, the sun was really low, that sort of horizontal light. My roof was bright green, yeah, it was very embarrassing. Now it's been probably less than a year since I completely reconditioned it using a Renovo stuff. So I use this, the fabric soft top cleaner, use the stuff that makes it go black and then use their ultra proofer. Well, I've got no problem with it being waterproof. It's certainly waterproof, but it is bright green as well. Now I thought, well, I could do it all again with this stuff. But the problem with this stuff is you really don't want to get it onto your paintwork because it does leave streaks that are not impossible to get rid of. And you know the palaver I went through before with put sheets all around the roof and closing it all down and uh, it's a right palaver. But anyway, so I thought I'd try a few different materials to see if I can clean it any better than the Renovo stuff. So I tried the car shampoo, different sort of concentrations of it. No, that do not work. A bit of dishwashing soap or washing up liquid in a bucket, that didn't work. I tried quite a few other things, but then I came up with a technique that does work and it works really well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to quickly go through how to do it. It's not that exciting to be honest, but you do need the special technique to put the stuff into the roof in the first place. And getting it into the roof fabric is the secret to the whole plan. I mean, washing that liquid's not that exciting, but getting it into the roof is the trick. And uh, is it waterproof afterwards? Yeah, it's perfectly waterproof. Already scrubbed this bit and dried it. And yep, yeah, uh, you can tell straight away that it's waterproof because it's perfectly dry to the hand. Yeah, anyway, let's get on with it. I'll show you the special technique. And uh, yeah, and this has come straight after, yep, yeah, the Saharan sand problem which uh, yeah is all over the E31. I'll show you it actually, it's not a pretty sight. Now have a look at that, there's no shine left on that at all. That sand has come all the way from Sahara, rained on it and uh, yeah it left it like that. So it's a matte colour at the moment so I need to sort that out. But first of all let's get on with this roof. So the things you need are, oh, let's get thing. so here we go, a bucket of warm water, garden hose obviously, and then the dishwashing soap or the washing up liquid. And of course you need a good scrubbing brush, one suitable for a soft top. And this is the one I'll be using. So that's, I think it came with the Renovo stuff. And you use it like that under your hand. Yeah, like that. First thing you do is you make the soft top wet. So you get the garden hose, give it a good spraying. So I'm just gonna do this bit out the front here so you can see what's going on. Right, just get me dishwashing soap. Right, so here we go then. It's all nice and damp. And we're going to do up to this line here at the middle. So the plan is that you just put little beads of it around. Like that. That's far enough for demonstration purposes. And then you use your hand to rub it in. And it's very important, you've got to get into the fabric. That's why it needs to be wet to start with. Now if you get to a point where the sort of lubricating properties of the washing up liquid goes away, then put some more on. I suppose this could be done with a paintbrush, but using your hands just as easy. So there we go, that's all nicely in. So there we go, the sort of dishwashing soaps in there. Let's leave it a couple of minutes. I'm not going to leave it a couple of minutes. We're going to get straight on with it. Okay, so bucket full of soapy water, uh, sorry, clear water. Hand in like that, clockwise to start with. Make sure all the bubbles come out. Anti-clockwise on the same bit. Now I'm dividing it, this up to the roof bar there. There's one over here, divide that in half. So do there, 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 and so on. So I've done that bit onto that one clockwise, anti clockwise, and you think, oh, that's doing nothing at all, Timber. Look at that brush, it's gone green. Right, so rinse the brush. Next bit, yeah, this isn't that exciting, is it? There you go. 
clockwise, anti-clockwise. Rinse the brush off. Well, I'll show you what the bucket of water looks like afterwards. You'll be quite surprised how green it is. Right, let's see how much green that got off then. There you go. Okay then, well it's the next day now. Yep, the green stuff's gone, but lichen, the lichen's still there. So I've read up on it, and apparently Milton fluid is the stuff to use. Well, I've got some of that. So let's give that a go and see if it gets rid of it, because I mean, so far nothing's got rid of it at all. That's yeah, pretty hopeless. I mean, if I could put, I could put the black stuff on, but that's just painting lichen really. So yeah, I've got my Milton fluid ready. Let's give that a go. I'll just try it on a small area like this and see if it makes any difference at all. There we go, then that's the end of the time lapse bits. Yeah, has it made a difference? No, I mean, you can be the judge, but I don't think so. Don't think it's made much of a difference at all. I mean, the scrapping with the washing up liquid, that got rid of the green stuff fine, and the roof looks a lot better for it. But the lichen, no, it didn't get it off. Did the Milton fluid get it off? No, it didn't. It didn't seem to make much difference at all, I'm afraid. It looks very much the same, to be honest. I could fool myself and say it looks better, but I don't think it's worth it. It doesn't make it look better enough. And I suppose the next thing would be paint it with the black stuff. Um, and that would probably cover up the lichen. Now, hopefully the Milton fluid, which is a bleach, of course, a mild bleach, kills off the lichen stops it growing but uh, certainly hasn't got rid of the marks. There's lots of stuff on the market that can get rid of lichens and moulds but unfortunately none of them which are suitable for the soft top of a car because whatever you put on the soft top inevitably ends up somewhere on the car and you really don't want sort of caustic stuff getting on the paintwork. Now did the Milton stuff damage the paintwork? No it doesn't, it doesn't make any difference to it at all. I've obviously, as you saw in the times la time lapse, I put the Milton on, I scrubbed it in certain places, I washed it off, and then I buffed the car around with my microfiber cloth, and yet there's no marks at all on it. What I did have to do though was get the machine polisher out because, of course, during the hyperlapse, the wind blew very hard and blew my tripod over, and that scratched the side of the car. But fortunately, I've, the machine polisher got rid of that, that little one that I showed you last time. Anyway, yeah, not a very successful day, but they say nothing ventured, nothing gained, but in this case, ventured and nothing gained, I'm afraid, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and fool myself that it looks a bit better. I think that's the only way to look at this. <laughs> it's still waterproof. It still does its job, but I'd much rather if it looked a bit blacker in these lichen -y areas. Yeah, I'm afraid that's another old wives' tale put to rest. Milton fluid, nah, don't really work at all. Don't do much. And I've read that they've used it three times and it made it better eventually, but it's probably just the scrubbing and not the action of Milton fluid, which of course is a bleach, but a very dilute one. Anyway, there we go. Put the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. You won't have learned anything from it, I'm afraid. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for subscribing. And Alvin, where are you, mate? And I'll see you next time.